Cape Juby Arabic, Ras Juby trans. Ra S Juby, Spanish, Cabo Juby is a cape on the coast of southern Morocco, near the border with western Sahara, directly east of the Canary Islands. Its surrounding area, called Cape Juby Strip or Tafia Strip, while making up presently the far south of Morocco, is in a way a semi-desertic buffer zone between Morocco proper and the western Sahara, and was under Spanish rule as the southern part of the Spanish protectorate in Morocco in the first half of the 20th century. <laughs> Modern history Precolonial era On May 28, 1767, Mohammed ben Abdallah, the Sultan of Morocco, signed a peace and commerce treaty with King Charles III of Spain. In the treaty, Morocco did not guarantee the security of Spanish fishermen in the coast south of the Noun River, as Morocco did not have control over the Tecna tribes of that area Art. 18. On March 1, 1799, Sultan Slimane of Morocco signed an accord with King Charles IV of Spain, in which he recognized that the Saguia el Hamra and Cape Juby regions were not part of his dominions Art. 22. .In 1879, the British North West Africa Company established a trading post near Cape Juby called Port Victoria. On March 26, 1888, Moroccan soldiers attacked the post, killing the director of the post and leaving two workers badly injured. In 1895, the company sold its post to the Sultan of Morocco. Topic: <inaudible> Spanish Protectorate. Topic: In 1912, Spain negotiated with France, which controlled the affairs of Morocco at the time, for concessions on the southern edge of Morocco. Francisco Benz officially occupied the Cape Juby region for Spain on July 29, 1916. It was administered by Spain as a single entity with Spanish Sahara and IFNI, as Spanish West Africa. The Spanish area 12,700 square miles 33,000 square kilometers, and had a population of 9,836. Its main town was founded by the Spanish as Villa Benz now called Tafia. Villa Benz was used as a staging post for airmail flights. Topic. Retrocession to Morocco. Topic. When Morocco became independent in 1956, it asked for the cession of Moroccan areas controlled by Spain. After some resistance and some fighting during 1957, the Ifni War, the Spanish government in 1958 ceded the Cape Juby Strip to Morocco. Topic: Sahara Sea. Topic. In 1877 the Scottish engineer Donald Mackenzie was the first to propose the creation of a Sahara Sea. Mackenzie's idea was to cut a channel from one of the sandbarred lagoons north of Cape Juby south to a large plain which Arab traders had identified to him as El Juf. Mackenzie believed this vast region was up to 61 metres 200 feet below sea level and that flooding it would create an inland sea of 155,400 square kilometres 60,000 square miles suited to commercial navigation and even agriculture. He further believed that geological evidence suggested this basin had once been connected to the Atlantic via a channel near the Saguia el Hamra. He proposed that this inland sea, if augmented with a canal, could provide access to the Niger River and the markets and rich resources of West Africa. There are several small depressions in the vicinity of Cape Juby, at 55 metres below sea level, the Sebka Ta is the lowest and largest. But it covers less than 250 square kilometers and is 500 kilometers north of the geographical area identified as El Juf, also known as the Mahabat Al Cobra, which has an average elevation of 320 meters. Mackenzie never traveled in this area, but had read of other sub-sea level desert basins in present-day Tunisia, Algeria, and Egypt, similar to those found near Cape Juby. These basins contain seasonally dry salt lakes, known as chots or sebkas. Egypt's Katera Depression is perhaps the largest such basin in North Africa. Topic. See also. Topic. Postage stamps and postal history of Cape Juby. Santa Cruz de la Mar Pequeña. Tecna. Ifni War. 
Sahrawi Reguibat Western Sahara Morocco Sahara Sea Katera Depression Topic. References Topic.